when you realize that slavery exists and how it works, mm -hmm. this is a problem. Yeah, the family the name is sort of lost. It's with the master. Yes, yes that's uh, the whole issue of when, the, when there is slavery. But yes. at, a at, at mm -hmm. a time, they, they didn't know. We didn't know either. It's mm -hmm. like nobody knew at a time. No, it's not that nobody. Everybody knew that it exists. The question is: Is this a widespread? Situation. Are all black uh, uh, um, more, uh, Mauritanians? I want to say <laughs> because in Mauritania, it's like the, yeah. are all black uh, black Sahrawi uh, automatically slaves? I didn't go and look for this. I didn't mm -hmm. know that this is happening. I didn't know that Fatim was separated from her mother because she was a slave, and mm -hmm. and the white woman took the little girl, and I didn't know anything. Yeah, of well, this. we know this kind of situation not for an individual, but we know that this exists, and when it comes to our attention, we follow. But when it and if you know, and what is the most important for us is to be present in the camps, and we are present in the camps. We have reports from officers who talk to the people. We have reports from officers where it was brought to the attention of the police. But as I said, I, I mean, I fully, I'm, I'm, I'm convinced that these practices exist. But I don't think this is something which is widely spread in a way that all uh, uh, um, black-colored uh, refugees are being discriminated. So I think the only way we can get together is to make sure that these things are not happening. And for example, what we are doing, we are having training, work, uh, workshops training for, uh, for people working in the judicial system of, of the Polisario to make them aware of human rights. We have workshops for them. Um, and in the Article 4 of the UN Declaration of Human mm -hmm. Rights says that no one shall be held in a slavery of servitude. The slavery and the slave trade shall be forbidden in all their forms. Absolutely. But what's happening there? But well, I just there explained since 1995. you. I, once again, I told you, I mean, we are get going in circles because you, but I you don't even want to watch what, what, what because I want No, I, I want to watch it, but I don't need to watch it now. I know that practices are existing. I also know if the practices are being brought to our attention that we follow up. This is our work. You cannot change a culture which is not only existing in the camps, but which is existing in a society. You cannot come out uh, in from the outside, either from the UN, nor from, uh, I don't know where you're, Australia, or, or in, and just say, OK, this has to change. We are all aware this has to change. There's no doubt. And I'm the first one really to fully, I mean, I'm fully in agreement if you can bring it to, to the public that uh, this practice has to stop. I'm fully with you, no problem. But, when but we I were think there. we're both working in the same direction. You want that these uh, practices are being uh, condemned, yeah. are being, and that's the same with UNHR. So why should there be any conflict? But they, they, wa they were not doing that. They were not doing... It's not that, I mean, I can tell you, if you have to, to assist 100,000 refugees in the camps, it may be not the, how can I say, it, uh, maybe not the highest priority on the daily basis, but I would completely disagree with you that if it, uh, it is being brought to the attention of UNICEA, that UNICEA would say this is not our business. But they didn't want it to me to them. They say that, that their business but was they just did. to monitor the I can, as you them. said, you would show me, I can give you a note for the files where they met with the, with the, with the, uh, uh, with the refugees on this issue. They did. You may think but you have discovered... No, 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 it's not my perception. I'm talking to you that, like, like I say to you, I have like, just in a little thing that I got, I have 13 people saying mm -hmm. I'm a slave and what's mm -hmm. happening to them. They take yeah, away the kids. You go to Mauritania, go to, you go out of the camps, you will find the same. But, we're not not something but this is not a refugee camp. Mauritania, it's mm. a country. No, what I want to tell you, it's a cultural issue which is existing. And that's what I try to mean. This is not something you can abolish from one day to the other. This is something which needs a long time and it has to come from the people. But the first thing should people. be accepting publicly that this is happening. That but this I, is did, I told you. This is this is it's not, not a culture. It's not a cultural problem. It's, it's what? Not, it's not a cultural but problem. But it's what? Like what it's a it? human problem. Yes, it's a real problem that there is no laws that protecting these refugees that they are a minority in a refugee camp. It's not a cultural problem. But I, w I mean, it, I, um, I assume this has been made for the public, so we will see it. So, but I don't. I mean, <laughs> I'm working in this kind of situation for so many years, so I don't need, you know, to see it now on the screen. I believe, I mean, as I told you from the beginning, there is, these practices exist, not only in the camps, but also in the camps, as they exist in the surrounding, 
in Mauritania there's a big debate about it, as there are many other practices which are against basic human rights, which exist and we have to combat, and that's what we are doing. So does the, the UN have, what are they, what are, what are you going to do? What do you mean, what do you mean? That, I just said this is our no, daily life. When no, we are, completely for no. example, if, I, I'll if we are aware, question. if for example we are uh, in a camp and something is being brought to our attention, we bring it to the police officers. We, and there is, for example, there I have reports you know, where, it brought, where, where it was brought to the attention of the police. Whenever there's an issue are of rape... Are you talking rape, about UN police officers or Polisario police officers? No, Polisario police officers. We, are no, we don't have any UN police officers. As I told you already, we have uh, uh, workshops and trainings for the uh, Polisario uh, authorities so that they are away, uh, aware that they, are, uh, that they have mechanisms in place, how to combat uh, slavery. But it's also, as I said, it's, it's broader than this. It's a more uh, public issue, it's, uh, and you may not agree with it. I still think even it is a human right to vote, but it's still cultural limited, like a, a female uh, um, uh, genital mutilation. It so th again, you are asking s for something which I'm fully in agreement, but Maybe where we have a bit of a difference is uh, who can change us, change that, how long it will take, which effort it is. In. And I think probably your documentary will be a part of it. You know, it will be part of it to make this happen, to make the change, and to alert and to raise attention. But you're this is 1991, and mm -hmm. until now you have done anything ha no, with regards to this. There have been prosecutions because of this. There has been police officers uh, tracing. Uh, people who had slaves. I mean, this is what I have received as reports. People don't disagree by saying that it exists. Nobody's denying the existence because, as again, I said, it's part of the. This human rights abuse is part of the of this specific culture. Some of them they say that they were very afraid because justice will never be like the justice will give the reason to their masters. So and what not would to you them. what would you think we should do? I believe that you should start. Like, like you know, talking to the polisario and talking and go mm -hmm. and talking to the people who want to talk to you. Well, we when talk they talk to the but when they of interior of polisario, but when they call, you, when these black people have been calling mm -hmm. you, you've been refusing their calls. You, you yeah, like but this is again where I disagree with you because you cannot say we are refusing. But I was there. The first thing is that the refugees have to let us know that there is something wrong and they want us to help yeah. them, and we will do this. This and is then, what we're doing we're all over the world. Just 90,000 or 90,000 refugees, if they say that they are the 10%, you, like I think the UN has the capacity to go and talk to every black family and see what's Absolutely. happening. Absolutely. Like we're talking about no 9,000 yes. people. And I Absolutely. Think like That's that. 11 years have and passed. Then, and and then the next. And then the next, like, or, or talk to the polisario to do a rule to say Absolutely. slavery is forbidden. And that's what we are and doing. people should start to taking these cases to court and this problem will be sorted out, I don't know, in 10 years. But that's exactly years. what we're doing. We have been meetings with the Minister of Interior, with the Minister of Justice of Polisario. We were talking about these issues. If you just bring it from the outside, it will be, the reaction will be immediately defense. Polisario will say, no, it doesn't exist. Uh, we have our, uh, our procedures. Um, the, the ones who feel discriminated will say all of us are in the same situation. The ones who don't feel discriminated they will say all of us are in the same situation. So it's a it's a process which takes a long time. And uh, no, I, mean, I, I mean, you d you bring your contribution by by alerting and by by preparing the, the documentary, which I think it's 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 one step, you know, in the right direction. Yeah.